What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Code Speak Labs. Today we have a very special project in place for you, and my question to you is: Do you happen to know anyone whose birthday is coming up? Or maybe it's your birthday, I don't know. But if so, today's project is perfect for you because we are building a virtual birthday card in Scratch. That is right. Yes, you heard me. We are going to be building cards that you can send to anyone anywhere in the world. And it's gonna be awesome. Ready for our project? Let's go! All right, everyone, we're gonna jump straight into the birthday card project. I'm gonna show you a birthday card I already made for my friend whose birthday is actually coming up next week. So here we go. Here is my project. I'm gonna make this bigger so you all can see it. And we see we have a virtual birthday card. And we click the green flag. It says, happy birthday. The little girl says, it's my birthday. And so what do we see on the screen? We see Scratchy the cat, we see a birthday cake. I heard a nice song too. I got the happy birthday song in the back, I like it. Awesome, so let's see what this card does. I click the cake. Nice, it's moving, I click Scratchy. You think I can sneak a piece of cake before she blows out the candles? I'm all about sneaking a piece of cake, I love it but don't tell anyone. Click the gift. All right, it's spinning. Cool, I hear like a choir. And awesome. Oh, it's getting bigger. Very nice. All right, so that's the game plan for today. So let's dive right in. All right, on my screen, I have a brand new Scratch project open, so you should see Scratchy the Cat on the stage. And we're gonna add some sprites to our virtual birthday card. So the first thing we're gonna do is, let's pick a backdrop first. We're gonna go to the bottom right-hand corner and click the backdrop button. And we're gonna pick any sort of background you want for your birthday card. So feel free to get creative if you wanna have a specific location or just a plain, um, just background. Okay, the party one I like goes with the theme of birthdays. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pick some sprites for our birthday card. So next to the backdrop button, we should see a little cat on a circle, and that is our sprite button. So let's give that a click. And really, you can add as many sprites as you like. I'm going to add a couple just to spice up the card a little bit. Um, so let me see what I want to add to my card. I'm kind of feeling like donuts today, so I'm going to add one donut. You know, shake it up a bit instead of a birthday cake. And I feel like we should still add a birthday cake. I'm going to add it too. All right, add the cake. Let's see. And... I kind of want to add a character to my card, so let's add... I like the princess. She's cute. All right. Add in the princess. Choosing a sprite. Um, let's add some... Well, we have balloons. Maybe some gifts. And if you can't find a certain sprite that you're looking for, you can always search the keyword too. So up in the left-hand corner, if I search a gift, let's see. Gift. So I'm going to add one gift. And there we go. And you know what? Let's add some more gifts. You can never have enough gifts. So let's add one more gift. All right. And then we have gift two. Awesome. All right, so take the next 30 seconds to a minute to choose your sprites for your birthday card. All right, so you've chosen your sprites? Yes? All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to position them on the birthday card. Because right now, if I were to give this birthday card to somebody, I think they'd be really confused as to why they're all just like jumbled up in the middle. So let's fix that. All right. My princess is a little bit big for the screen. I'm gonna size her down a little bit. So we should see a size little text box right above our sprites. So we can actually change the size of our sprites. We delete this 100. I can change it to, let's try 80. She got smaller. There we go. Good. All right, so take the next 30 seconds to a minute to position your sprites, change the size accordingly. Um, 
and place your sprites wherever you want on the card. All right, let's do it. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually going to add another sprite, but we're not gonna find it in the library. We're actually going to make this sprite on our own. So we're gonna hover our mouse over the sprite button and we're gonna choose the paintbrush. And we're gonna name this sprite, Happy Birthday. Can you guess what we're making? You probably already know. So we're going to make a text box that says happy birthday on it. So when the user gets their card, they'll know exactly what it's for. All right, we're gonna go into the costume section. So after you click the paintbrush, it should, it should bring you to the costume section. And we're going to click on, it should be a button that looks like a square. So right underneath the selector, we're gonna count down four buttons. One, two, three, four. So it says rectangle, but it's a square right there. You get what I mean. All right. And when we click the square, we're gonna go over to our little painting area and we're gonna click our mouse and we're gonna drag it so that it makes a rectangle. Awesome. And if you don't like the color purple, don't worry, we can change that. So we'll give our little rectangle, rectangle a click and we're gonna go to the fill box and change the color, so. Kind of feeling blue today. Let's find a blue. Okay, there we go. Awesome, we have our rectangle. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to add letters to our text box. So we're gonna click the button that says a T. You should see a T for text. And we're gonna give our rectangle a click. And you should see the cursor pop up. And we're gonna type happy birthday. Oh. And to change the color of the text, we can go back to fill and let's change it to black. There we go. Awesome, so let's position our text on the screen. And I'm gonna make it a little bigger so it jumps up a little bit. And let's do the handwriting. Or, no, actually I kinda want marker. There we go. And let's make it red this time. Size that up a bit. All right, and there you should see your text box on the screen, so on your birthday card. Right now it's a little big, so I'm going to fix that by just changing its size. So I'm gonna click the happy birthday sprite. Let's try 50. There we go. Uh, 75. There we go, I like that. 50, never mind. And I'm gonna put it right underneath the princess, so there we go. All right, we designed our birthday card. Let's get to the coding. So I'm gonna click my first sprite, which was Scratchy, and I'm going to add a few blocks to his coding area. So I'm going to go down to events. I'm going to click when this sprite clicked and I want to make him say something. So we're going to go into a section called looks. And I'm going to grab the say block and let's give Scratchy a message. You think I can sneak a piece of cake? before the party starts. Oh. There we go. Um, and if you don't want your cat or your sprite to say this, feel free to include your own creative message down below. All right, let's test it out. Click the green flag. When we click Scratchy the cat, he says, you think I could sneak a piece of cake before the party starts? I don't know, can he? Guess we'll find out. All right, let's go to the next sprite. We're gonna go down to our donut sprite and I'm gonna want this sprite to, let's add some movement to our donut. So 
I'm going to go down back to events, so it's the yellow circle. And I'm going to drag the same block. So when this sprite clicked, and I'm going to go down into control, so the orange circle. And I'm going to add in a repeat block. You remember what this does? So anything we add inside this repeat block, it's just going to basically occur over and over again as many times as we want it to. So we put in 10. And inside this repeat block, I'm going to go back into motion this time. And we're going to drag a few blocks in there. So let's do... And I'm going to change the second move block to negative 10 steps. So the first one says move 10 steps, so it's positive. So that means move to the right. Negative 10 means move the opposite way. So we're going to the left. So let's see what happens when we try that out. Click the green flag, click the donut, pause. All right, we're gonna add a few more blocks so we're not just done yet. We're gonna go back into control and we're gonna grab a weight block. So this basically is just gonna space out our movements a little bit so they don't occur at the same time. And then we're gonna change it to a shorter period of time. So click the green flag, let's try it out. Click the donut, oh, it's moving, it's dancing. <laughs> all right, all right, next sprite done. We're gonna go down to the cake sprite next, so let's do that. I could use a piece of cake right now, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> all right, so we're going to grab a block called when this green flag, oh, when green flag clicked. So not when this sprite clicked, when green flag and we're going to add sound to our birthday card. So let's do that. We're going to go down into a section called sound. And we're going to play the happy birthday song. Because, you know, it's pretty fitting for a birthday card. So let's grab the, the play sound birthday until done. And so let's try this out. If I click the green flag, we should hear the song. All right, and there it is. And uh, let's add some effects to our cake. So we'll also do when this sprite clicked, let's change its color. So we can do this by going to looks and we can grab a block called change color effect by 25. And let's just drag this. So let's see what happens now when I click the green flag and then I click the cake. Oh, it's green. Not that I've ever tasted a green cake, but you know, can always try something new. All right, let's move on. So we're gonna go down to our main character sprite. So it might be different for you, it's a princess for me. Um, and we're gonna drag a block, same one, when green flag clicked. And we're gonna drag a block that says, say hello for two seconds. But instead of saying hello, we're gonna say it's my birthday. Let's give that a change. All right, it's my birthday, she says. Very nice. All right, we're almost done with our birthday card. The next thing we're gonna do is we're just going to add some code to our gift boxes in the corner. So let's see what we can do with our gift boxes. Hmm. Let's go back into events. Let's drag when this sprite clicked. And we're gonna drag a forever block inside of our gift. So our forever block is a little bit different from repeat. Repeat tells you the amount of times you wanna do something over and over again. Forever basically just means exactly what it says, forever. So on and on and on and on again. You get the point. All right, so we're gonna go into motion and let's drag turn 15 degrees. All right, so let's see what happens when this, when I click the box, it's spinning. All right, so one problem, when I click stop, the gift is 
kind of tilted. So let's fix that. We can do this by dragging in a certain block. So we'll drag in one green flag clicked, and then we'll drag in a block in the motion section called point in direction 90. So that just means whenever we start the birthday card again by clicking the green flag, it'll just reposition itself. So let's see if that works. It does. We love it. You might have more sprites left over, so I have two sprites. Take the next couple of minutes to customize your own sprites. So I've showed you a few things. We've added motion to our sprites. We've added some color effects. We've added some text blocks. So take the next minute to go on and do the next couple of sprites yourself and add whatever you think is best for your birthday card. All right, everybody, so we finished our birthday card. Let's give it a little test. Blow this up. I'm gonna send this to my friend next week. All right, click the green flag. Princess says, it's my birthday. All right, I clicked the cat. You think I could sneak a piece of cake before the party starts? Click the donut, it's moving, click the cake. Green cake, blue cake, purple cake, pink cake, I like that one. Click the gift box, all right. And there you go, there is our virtual birthday card. So I'm gonna actually show you one more thing before we end our coding lesson for today. So if we go to C project page, here you'll be able to name your project. You can give your project instructions as well. So I'm gonna name this virtual birthday card. And another cool thing we can do with Scratch is that we can send our projects to anyone in the world. To do this, we can share our project and send a link to anyone, anywhere. So we should see orange share button. If I click share, we should see a button that says copy link that pops up on the bottom. Uh oh, my Mac is using a lot of energy. <laughs> All right, so if I click this link, copy link, I can copy this link and send it to anyone. So for example, my friend's birthday is coming up next week. I'm gonna copy this link and I can text it to her. I can email it to her and she can open up this scratch project and see the card that I made for her. So pretty cool stuff. All right, everyone. We have finished building our virtual birthday card today in scratch. I hope you enjoyed today's project. Don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel and if you're interested in coding along with us beyond YouTube, you can go to codespeaklabs.com slash register. And thank you so much for joining me. I hope you'll join us next time and far in the future. This is Coach Haley from Codespeak Labs, logging off. See you coders.